Hey, Cody, maybe it's hard to you know, put your finger on this quickly after the game, but how did that one just get so out of hand? Yeah, I think we just gave up too many explosive plays. Uh, you know, the name of the game for Iowa State's kind of shifts and motions to get us out of alignment. And I think for myself, I know that they got me out of alignment a few times and uh, I just didn't make the play. What do you think it's going to take for this team to bounce back from this next week? You know, I think we faced a lot of adversity within the last few weeks, honestly. I think, you know, we're just coming together off the field, you know, having to talk with each other like we need everybody. Uh, you know, that, that one hurts, but at, at the end of the day, you know, it's over, it happened. They were the better team today, so we just got to move forward starting on Monday and you know, getting ready for Baylor. And uh, you were one of the people who helped replace them, but what was the hardest thing about playing without Justin and Elijah today? Yeah, you know, it's definitely difficult. They're, they're two big leaders for us. Uh, you know, Eli is definitely one of the biggest playmakers we have, and Justin's a, a good vocal leader. But, you know, it was an opportunity for me and Deuce to step up. And, you know, myself, I didn't step up the way I should have today. John? Yeah, Cody, you just mentioned that, that it's been a tough couple of weeks for you guys. Just how, how would you describe how tough it has been for the last three or four weeks? I mean, yeah, we, we've dealt with a lot of different things, such as, you know, COVID and, uh, you know, people leaving or what whatsoever. So, you know, it, it's kind of day by day, you just hear different things, you know, but it, it's been it's been really difficult. But at the end of the day, you know, we have one task in mind and that's just to win ball games. What was Coach Kleiman's message to you guys after the game? Uh, after the game, you know, he, he was disappointed for sure. But, you know, his message, you know, for us is to come together like off the field, you know, that we need any everybody uh, you know, we can't have people like quitting on us and leaving on us. So he felt, you know, our effort was there, but, you know, mentally we just weren't there. Appreciate it, Cody. Thanks. Thank you. Ryan. Hey, uh, Cody, what, what's the biggest thing with Eli and, and Justin being out? What's the biggest thing that changed for you specifically? Like how much did your responsibilities change? Yeah, I mean, uh, my responsibility changed a lot when they left uh, or weren't there today. I had to be more of a vocal leader, you know, communicating with the safeties. Uh, with You know, as a senior, and I was the only senior with the linebackers, so we had a lot of young guys had to come in, and uh, I had to help get them prepared. But, you know, I think the biggest thing is I, 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 sh I should have made more plays without those guys there. You know, I put a lot on me, but I, I should have made more plays today. But when I asked Coach, Coach Kleiman earlier whether there was any positive to take out of this, he said no, uh, because there's no silver linings in a loss like this. Is that the same way you feel? Yeah, I kind of feel similar, you know. Uh, you know, you kind of have it into the mindset where, you know, this got to kind of piss you off somewhat that, you know, we just got beat so bad, honestly. But, I mean, after 24 hours, you know, we're focused on Baylor, and that, that's all we got to look forward to.